can we get unlimited water from data centers? When when I look at water, I look at water falling from the sky. I look at water from the ground resources. I look at mm. water from the oceans. I look at mm. water as humidity in the air. And because all of these are, are usable resources to yeah. be able to bring and feed into a system. And so if you're doing a direct air carbon capture system and you're mm. lo co-locating that alongside a data center, you're utilizing that waste heat. You can take that, that lower grade heat and you could upgrade that to the temperature and you can use that to cycle the amine. You can use that to dehumidify that water and take all of that air handling. And yeah, you've got to process a ton of air to extract CO2 from it. But all of that water that you now have can now be used for irrigation. It can be used for potable water. It can be used for, for drinking water. You can use that low temperature heat to run desalination processes yeah. that, are, that are low temperature. They, they take up more physical space than, than reverse osmosis systems, but they don't take a significant amount of energy. And, and so you've got plenty of these capabilities of designing systems and infrastructure that are way more resilient, that are way, mm. way better. The, the limiting factor will mainly be